What's going on YouTube? Kevin here with a video review for the Chill Pill speakers from Chill Pill Audio. Before we begin this review, I want to thank Michael and the whole crew out there at Chill Pill Audio for sending this out to me for review. Go ahead and check out the website, guys. Link will be down below in the description as always. The Chill Pill speakers are a compact way to carry around some pretty powerful audio. Held together by magnets, the two speakers can be easily stored or separated to give you portable stereo sound. The chill pill speakers are also collapsible. Gently turning the top portion of each speaker will open them up for better bass track response, resonance, and replication. The right speaker has a knob for controlling the volume of both speakers. It also features this 3.5mm retractable audio cord that you plug into your sound source. You will notice here that it is not gold plated, it is nickel plated, but this doesn't really matter considering the type of environment you're probably using this in, you're not going to hear that much of a difference between gold and nickel plated. There's also a mini USB port here on the side, it is used for receiving power and sending sound from one speaker to the other. The left speaker has a switch that turns the chill pill speakers on and off. Next to the switch there is a retractable mini USB cable that is used for charging the internal battery and transferring power from one speaker to the other as I mentioned before. Using the included adapter cable which you can see here, you can easily charge the internal battery for up to 6 hours of use. Lastly, the left speaker has a bright blue LED that lets you know when these speakers are up and running. In this shot, you can see my iPhone 4 are set up with the Chill Pill speakers. Not only can you get a decent size comparison, but you can also tell how compact the entire system can be even when it is fully operating. Despite the fact that these speakers are so portable, they pack a punch in terms of volume. These speakers are loud enough to be heard from across a decently sized room. However, at higher volumes, the audio does tend to get distorted. You'll have to take my word on this since recording the performance of these speakers is quite hard to do. In this next clip however, I try to demonstrate how opening up the speakers does help boost the bass a little bit, but not by much. In my opinion, opening up the speakers had very little effect on the audio coming through them so long as the sound was softer. Opening them up does help a little bit with distortion when you're blasting the sound though. You guys might have said that having my hands on the speakers reduced the resonance which would have allowed the speakers to perform better. However, I tested this theory and came to the conclusion that it didn't really make a difference. From my perspective, the treble sound tinny and the bass is muddy. The mids are good though. Overall, I was slightly disappointed with the sound quality, however, I think the purpose of these speakers is to boost the output volume of devices with quieter, subpar speakers, not necessarily to provide the highest quality listening experience. That being said, I would still recommend these speakers. Even though they don't produce the highest quality sound, what's worse, hearing slightly lower audio quality or not being able to hear the sound at all? For $39.99, I would recommend these speakers for people who find themselves sharing their audio with a fairly large crowd but don't want to break their bank doing so. This concludes my video review for the Chill Pill speakers from Chill Pill Audio. Again, I want to thank Michael and the whole crew out there for sending this out to me for review. Go ahead and check out their website, guys. Link will be down below in the description as always. Until next time, please feel free to rate, comment, and subscribe for more content in the future, and I'll see you guys in the next video review.